Hey fellow YouTubers, welcome to my tutorial and this is a Windows Vista tutorial on how to partition your hard drive on Windows Vista. Um, this will only work on Windows Vista and to partition is like dividing your hard drive into two and you will not lose all your data, you won't lose anything in your hard drive. It just divides it onto another one that if you want to install another OS like Linux, Windows XP, backing up your data like that to partition your hard drive to divide it instead of just having one hard drive unless you want to put your own stuff into the other one and this will only work with Windows Vista so that's the thing it can only work Windows Vista with Windows Vista not Windows XP so to partition our hard drive uh, we're gonna have to go to our start button and computer and just right click on computer and click on manage uh, if you have a window popping up asking for your permission, just click on continue. It didn't for me because I didn't. I, I disabled the user account control. So once you open up uh, computer management, um, uh, press the drop down box on storage right here. And click on disk management. And it should be loading the disk in here. And once it done that, once it done that, um, you should see your hard drive which is the C drive which is your main hard drive which is mostly on all computers that's your drive letter and you want to divide this hard drive into another one so what we have to do is right click on our hard drive which is the drive C so we're going to divide this right click on it and click on shrink volume querying volume for available shrink space please wait um, once it's done, it says enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. Um, if it's pretty hard for new people out there, um, like if you would just want to divide into one gigabyte, we're just going to put 1000 megabyte, which equals onto one gigabyte. So if you want to divide this into 10 gigabyte, I'm just going to put 10,000. So yeah, that's what you put. Well, I'm just going to make mine 1000, so you can put the amount of gigabyte you want to use to back up your data or to install another OS. So I'm putting 1000 megabyte for the sake of the video, so it won't take forever for you guys to watch. So once you put the uh, amount of space to shrink, click on shrink, and you will not lose all your data. You, will, you won't. So it's going to take a while, so I'm just waiting for this right now. Okay, once the shrinking is done, you should come up with... Um, another space here that shows black and you lost one gigabyte because my one here was 87 gigabyte it took out one gigabyte from the other hard drive and made it into a partition for my other memory but once you already shrinked it it's not ready to be used yet because when you go to my computer you don't see it here so what we have to do in order to use it is right click on the uh, partition we made and click on new simple volume and then the small window should pop up just click on next and then simple volume size in megabyte that's how much it is I don't know why it's 999 but that's just how it is but it's still one gigabyte so click on next and assign the following drive letter like um, like the Windows Vista or your local disk C drive that's gonna be the name of the drive and you can put it to whatever name you want so that one is already C so I'm just gonna make mine D so where's D um, I guess they don't have it so I'm just gonna put O and yeah just don't put anything else in here so then after that's done just click on next and format this volume with the following settings yeah and give it a volume na label let's say we're gonna back up our data we're just gonna put backup or you want to put Windows XP just put Windows XP or Linux but I'm just gonna put backup but never mind I'm just gonna put for the video and then just click on next don't uh, check mark these boxes unless you want a quick format but I rather go full format click on next oh yeah by the way um if you make the partition big it'll take you a while to format it since my is only one gigabyte it shouldn't really take that long so next and finish and you have to wait a while you'll see the busy 
cursor on Windows Vista on computer management that means it's formatting it or it's getting ready so I'll pause this until it's done okay this small one that will pop up you'll see it down here um, it'll ask you for formatting it so you need to format the disk in drive H before you can use it so what we have to do is just click on format disk so let's click on format disk and now it's doing it right now so let's wait until it's done so let me just close my computer it's making my own pretty fast so I just pause mine until it's done okay my formatting is almost done and a small uh, the, the hard drive window will pop up um, where is it okay there it is it's down here on your taskbar and there it is it's under computer for the video right up here so the folder is empty so let me just go to computer and there's your hard drive it used up a little space because it formatted it so it only took up three percent so there's the hard the partition you made and there's a drive letter you can choose so you, I don't know if you can rename it to another letter let me just check or yeah you can do it just go to computer management and just change it change drive letter and paths and you can rename it whenever you want to and like data and all so that's how you make a partition on Windows Vista you can close computer management now but I'm just gonna leave it open so then that's how you make a partition and you can back up whatever you want to put inside whatever you want to put in so if you lose any data uh, you can just go and get it back in here so it's pretty cool so let me just delete this and let me just drag it back out okay I deleted that so that's how you make a partition on Windows Vista please subscribe and thanks for watching this is a tutorial on Windows Vista on how to partition so thanks for watching and please subscribe